So today what we're going to do is we're going to walk around in our backyard and see what we can find to possibly make a fly. So we'll get the whole family and we're going to go look for feathers and any other kind of trash maybe that's dropped off from birds or whatever and see what happens. What do you hope to find? Do you have hope to find anything? Feather. What? At least one feather. All right, let's go. Here we go. All right, here's our first find. We got some, uh, looks like it possibly like a, something ate a squirrel. Some fluff. So we'll put that in our pocket. And probably, see what, probably an owl. An owl might have ate it. Maybe. Looks like it's squirrel fur. All that right. That be a bug. Alright, so we have some of the uh, marking flags that we're back here marking some stuff. So we'll pick one of these up since it's no longer needed out back here. So we'll see what, uh, maybe this will help us out. I doubt it, but at least it'll add to it. Alright, so far we've done about half of our backyard and only found those two items. You guys find anything else? Yeah, maybe. Let's keep looking. Oh, hurry me. All right, so I found some fibers there and a little bit more over here. This is below an old uh, eagle's nest, so must have been up in the... Yeah, it could have been its pellet, too. Who knows? But it might have been in its nest. All right. Oh, Liam found a cool old bone from them. Something that they ate, some little critter. That's pretty neat. Alright, we'll keep looking around here and see if we can find something else. We found some more... Twine? Twine? It looks like a chunk of a tarp or something. It's got blue. And it also has like... It's white too. It's also clear. Yeah? Alright, I'll put it in my pocket. We'll keep looking. Oh, look at You found a no, half a no trespassing sign. This is all stuff that used to be part of the nest. Is it? It's like all little pieces of branches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll show you guys. There it is. There's the old the old nest, and uh, they moved out because this tree died. It's a corn cob. So, oh, you got a corn cob? It's a finger cup for now. <laughs> that could be the body. All right. We'll see if, if we find something else. All right, I didn't even have to cheat. I did finally find one wild bird feather here. What's it? What? So we'll, uh... Wait, flip it. What? Wow. Oh. It's got some iridescence on it. Oh, that's from the bird that we saw over there. One of them ducks, probably? Yeah. All right. Could have been from the wood So that's pretty too. cool. No. All right, let's see what else we can go find. All right. All right, just right, right next to that, we got this one. And probably a chunk of it right there. Pretty tattered, but it'll work. It'll do something. All right, so this is the stuff that we acquired out in the backyard. We got these feathers. We got this part of what looks to be maybe a tarp. There's a little bit of tarp and a little bit of, I don't know, uh, fill. I don't know, uh, stuffy fill. And uh, we got that little bit of fur. So let's see what we can make out of this. All right. Good afternoon. So, backyard material fly challenge. All right, I'm putting a size 14 nymph style hook in here. And the only thing that I'm gonna be using is some thread. And if I can find the end of my lead wire, since it is a nymph, there it is. It got unraveled. Okay, so we'll put a few wraps. On here, maybe. A 
Okay. All right, I got, um, I'm gonna be using Ultra Thread UTC 140. Scissors that I got right here. Got those little fibers that I hung up on. Bend that over. And out of personal preference, I just like to put a little bit of head cement. keep that lead locked in. Okay, so I think the first thing that we'll do is we have our piece of tarp, I guess. I'll just cut a straight edge off that and I'm gonna find a few fibers. Right there, I got one nice fiber, like so. I'm just going to tie that in. Take it right to the butt of the hook there. Okay, I'm going to trim this one little. I don't know why that one will not. There we go. Okay, so now I have it's tied in nice. Okay. We're going to take a, one of our feathers. I'm going to use this one. This one has some nice iridesc iridescence in it. Just going to find a couple fibers of that. We'll measure it out here. Okay, I'll trim off our excess. Okay, we'll pull our loop down, come around, go over, keep that out of our way. Alright, so that's locked in. We'll bring our thread up front. Okay, so now. We have to clean out some of our fur here. It's got some extra junk in it. Clean all the solids out of there. We got twisted up when I wasn't looking. Save these twists. We don't want to... We're going the right way. We got to untwist it because we want to twist it with our dubbing material that we found right there. Okay, I made a little doodad here that should help me. Just gonna take a little bit of this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me break some of this fur apart. Some of it still looks like it. Fluff it up. I was kind of worried I wasn't going to have enough, but it looks like there's quite a bit of it here. All right. All right, so let me just take a little bit of this. We'll 
put it in here and start spinning. Make a nice little noodle. It's a little thick in the front there. We'll probably pull that apart a little bit. So on a nice little taper. All right, let's start wrapping with what we got here. Push this up. started deforming on me so let's unspin this a little bit put some fresh stuff in here Okay. We're going to capture that. A couple tight wraps. Trim that off. We have our tarp part. We're going to use that as a segment. All right. Cut a couple of them card hairs off that are sticking out pretty proud. And we'll just build ourselves up a little head. And we can find our little bit finish tool. All that done so we got let me trim one of these little fibers huh couple more They're sticking down pretty crazy once we get that we can always take our fingernail and fluff some of that up but we got a little tail we got a body we got a head we'll put a little dab of head cement on that now we'll just have to go see if this will catch us a, a fish that'll be our challenge we made the fly we found material for the fly 
but can we catch a fish on this contraption? I think we can. I think it looks buggy. So, all right, next time you see this, it'll probably be in the water. See if we can't make something happen with it. I should have trimmed that a little bit off first, but all right. See you out on the water.